So the first thing you're going to need is some cooked rice. And I cooked this in the rice cooker. Uh, but if you want to get it really nice and dry, not too wet, you'll have to cook it the day before and put it in the fridge so that all the moisture dries out. I have one and a half cups of parboiled rice. I think if you use like basmati or white rice, it's too um, soft and it gets too soggy. So I think parboiled rice is perfect um, for fried rice. And I have two medium carrots that I cubed, some ginger that I grated, some pimento peppers. This is what a pimento pepper looks like. And it has a lot of flavor but it's not really spicy so if you don't have access to this pepper then you can get something similar to it like a jalapeno or a serrano pepper and I use like four medium sized ones and I have a hot pepper here I'm just gonna use half of this I'm just gonna cut it really finely I also have some saiba scallion that I just cut up really finely. This is to garnish at the end. I also have some celery and if you don't have access to this um, small celery, you can also use the thick, um, the thick one, the stem. I also have some fried rice seasoning here. This is a uh, Caribbean product so it'll be really hard to find if you don't live in a West Indian area um, so you don't really have to put this it just gives it a really nice flavor and I have some ginger soy sauce you can also use dark soy or whatever you have and some sesame oil So I'm going to put my pot on my wok actually, I'm going to put it on high heat. And I'm just going to put about half a tablespoon of canola oil. So you just want to let the oil heat up and woks tend to get really hot quick. So it's not going to take a very long time. So I'm just going to test it to see if it's hot. So it's not hot as yet. So I see it's starting to sizzle, so I'm just gonna add the carrots in here. And you just wanna let it fry for about a minute. Now I'm going to add the ginger, the hot pepper and the pimentos. And you just want to let this fry for about 2 to 3 minutes. Now I'm going to add some garden peas or green peas. I forgot to mention this earlier but um, I'm going to add this at this point. You just want to let it kind of fry a little bit before we add the rice. And you can add any type of vegetable you want. You can add crystalline or sweet peppers. I personally don't like to use sweet peppers. I prefer peas instead. Sometimes I even just put carrots alone. And it still tastes really good.
So now I'm just gonna add a little bit, like a little dash of the soy sauce. I'll just let it coat the vegetables. Now I'm just going to put the heat on medium and I'm going to add the rice. And before you add salt, you want to add some of the fried rice seasoning. Just going to add about a teaspoon and a half. Then you can taste it for salt. And I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce again. And I'm going to add the celery. And it's nearly done. Now you want to give it one last taste to see if it's missing anything. And once it's good, you could turn it off. And now you want to add your sesame oil. I'm just going to give it a little drizzle. Not too much. And just stir it in. Now I'm just gonna garnish it with the scallion or size. And it's done. So guys this is the finished product and I hope you all enjoyed it it was very short and simple so I hope it's easy for you all to follow and I hope you guys enjoy it see you all in my next one bye